Hi, my name is John Clifford. I've been here seven years. The last two years I was security supervisor. Um, we have 24 hour security at JC Newman and I'm not scared of any ghosts because I've never had one throw me down the steps or anything, <laughs> but there's definitely stuff that goes on here that you can't explain. I have to do rounds and I've done rounds where I've walked through an area, to, uh, hit a button and come back out, check something else, went to walk right back in there seriously two minutes later because I didn't, I went forgot to check a door and a cobweb wrapped around my face. And I mean, there was no time for a cobweb to go from, I walked through, there was just a doorway. There was no way this whole thing where I had to take my glasses off and it was like I had a hairnet on. Um, I had one guard one time, um, I'm watching him on the cameras doing rounds. And when he got to the upstairs, I noticed a light was lighting up the back of his head. And I stood up and I'm looking at the camera closer and there was a white ball of light following him, staying exactly behind him. When he'd stop, it would stop. And so I thought that's just gotta be a reflection. So I kept watching it and then he had stopped and the thing came up and almost bumped him in the head. And when it bumped, when it almost hit him in the head, it lit his whole back up. And then I started watching it. He stepped back and it moved back and then disappeared out of the picture. One day somebody told me a story about they went in the men's bathroom and there was a guy in a plaid shirt standing at the uh, urinal and he walked by and he, oh excuse me and he walked to the next one he said two minutes later he doesn't hear anything he looked around the corner and the person wasn't there and he thought that was weird like i don't think he didn't know anybody in the building that was wearing a plaid shirt and he was just telling me about that it was a kind of strange thing well then uh i was sitting out front one day and the receptionist walked out to the lobby and she looked back and forth and she said, where'd that guy go in the plaid shirt? So what guy? She said, there was just a guy standing that walked in front of the doorway here. And I was sitting at the desk when she said the guy walked in front of the doorway. Nobody came in the front door. Um, and then she said, I said, what did he look like? That's when she told me he had a plaid shirt. And then I'm like, this is like the second or third time I've heard people tell me a story of somebody in a plaid shirt. 